From now on, I'm making everybody that walks into my house put this thing on their head. Hello, happy people. I've got the new Harry Potter Lego talking sorting hat to show you, but first... That was the only acceptable answer. Thanks so much to the Lego group for sending me this set for review. While you're here, please like this video. It really helps my channel. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here. This talking sorting hat set comes out on March 1st. It's 561 pieces and it's gonna retail for $99.99 USD. So clearly the highlight here is that it talks. And if you don't push it down all the way, you can see the facial features that move and distort anytime you would press the sound activation button. There's two ways to activate the sound. One is activated by this button on the bottom side as was demonstrated when I put it on top of my head. The other way is to push down on the tip of the hat like so. Ah, yes, you belong in slithery. So that you can do that when it's just sitting on a shelf or on its own display stand. Speaking of the stand, let's take a look at these down here. These are four printed two by two tiles with the house mascots on each. Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Printed tiles just go so hard. And actually a really cute little Easter egg, something you just would not be able to see. On the inside underneath these tiles, there are four two by two bricks in yellow, red, green, and blue. Me being who I am, obviously I had to make sure that they were under the corresponding tile on the outside, but obviously it doesn't really matter, or does it? This is the one minifigure in this set, which is Harry Potter with his own sorting hat. Harry has two faces, one where he's deep in concentration, you know, saying, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. And incidentally is the image that they put in the back of the box from the movie. And his second face is the one where he's really excited because he got into Gryffindor. Yay! I love that the hat, it's actually wrinkled to look like the frumpy face of the sorting hat. Now the sorting hat itself, I think is bloody phenomenal, right? The texture looks so great. I love the parts that came together to make like these eyebrows here, the eye, and then the like frumpy frown. There's even some wear and tear throughout in the form of two stickers here that are meant to look like stitching. Those are the only two stickers in the set, by the way. As well as this, I believe this is a new printed element of these curved tiles that are printed with some stitching on them. On the back side, let me show you another cool Easter egg within the set. When you remove this conical shape, you see four symbols of the Hogwarts houses inside. So Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem, Helga Hufflepuff's goblet, the sword of Godric Gryffindor, and Salazar Slytherin's locket? Or is it the gaunt ring? I should probably know this, but it's a single gold stud with a singular green translucent tile on top. I really don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Underneath that is kind of this unsightly studded area, but it's a little wedge door that you can slide open and it gives you easy access into the sound box. There are 31 randomized sounds and supposedly one of them is the sorting hat song. I have yet to hear it, so we'll see. Really quick, here's what the moving mechanism looks like that activates the sound. There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you want to be. Oh my God, was that part of the song? That was like the first time I've heard it. Let's bring this sound brick out real quick. As you can see, this is where the speaker is located. I imagine easy access is provided in case you need to replace the batteries on this. And so it goes right back in and connects via these two by four studs. Clearly the back of this build leaves a lot to be desired, but I think it's because the front is so well done. But also we know that the backside has its specific uses, right? Like this is hiding the Easter eggs and this is so that we can get inside the speaker in case we need to change the batteries. Plus I'm not gonna be displaying the backside. Honestly, at $100 for this set, I would say the build experience was quite worth its value. At 561 pieces, my Lego math tells me that even with IP tax, this should be like $65 to $70. But we have to consider the sound box and the complexities that involves. And even better for us, the batteries are included and they installed them for us because those batteries are tiny. And you need a tiny screwdriver, so they would have been a pain to put in. As always, let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to see if this is something that you are eyeing for March 1st. Do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I would love to have you here.